Alright, Survivors Polly Jr. here. Welcome back to the Long Dark. We're picking up where we left off here with the Winter Mute Story Mode Chapter 3. The story of Astrid, who was traveling with Will McKenzie in his plane when it went down. And they got separated and obviously uh, we're now playing through Astrid's storyline. And there is a bear on the road coming up the street. So we got it. We can't stay here. I'm just kind of warming up. Oh, yeah, he's right behind us. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get get down. Ah! Okay, bye, Bear. It's okay, it's okay, Bear. We're leaving now. You can have the car. Yeah, I just ran inside there to warm up a little bit because it's super cold. We got two down arrows, and uh, Astrid is freezing her patooties off. Now we're going all the way over here. And I don't think we're gonna make it, so hopefully... Oh, there's something. There's something there. Look at that. You can see the smoke up on the ridge. But we have a, it looks like an old shack here. Uh, it doesn't look like we can go inside, but it might have, it might be um, an old wood stove in there. Some of these decrepit old shacks have wood stoves that we can use to warm up in quickly. So anyway, yeah, welcome back to the long dark. It's now 2020. Happy New Year. And my New Year's resolution is to continue the long dark and finish it. <laughs> I want to know what happened to Astrid. And I'm sure many of you do too. So we're going to pick it up and roll with it. And I apologize for the hiatus, but I just got super busy when this Chapter 3 first landed. Um, that was right around sports season, and I got tied up traveling and watching all the sports my kids play. And then the holidays, and we had birthdays and all that fun stuff. That's my story, sticking to it. And we have a derelict cabin here. There's a wood stove. That's fabulous. Oh! We got coal bin here. I'm sure there's a ton of coal in here. Um, you know what? We don't really need the coal. I'll grab one. And a tinder plug. But we're going to leave all the coal because we don't need to get all weighted down here. Astrid. So we'll grab that wood though and maybe get a fire going right now because it is ch 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 chilly. All right. Drop the gun. I hate to do it, but I just don't want to accidentally discharge the firearm. <laughs> Man, it is windy. All right, let's get a fire started. We have a 95% chance. I think we can do it without the accelerant. I'd like to save the accelerant for those moments when you really, really need it. When you're out in the wind, in the wilderness. There we go, Astrid. You got it, girl. You got it going. All right, let's, uh, let's add some fuel. Let's put some furry wood in there. Furry wood. Burn it up. And maybe some reclaimed. And we got a bunch of wood here too. A couple of cedars. And I'll grab a tinder plug. Got a it's cooking pot. Handy. Uh, well, you already got one, Astrid. You know what? Let's put that there. And let's cook. I just don't want that bear to sneak up on us, you know? How about if we have some... Let's cook up a nice cup of joe. Nine minutes until ready. And then we'll, uh, we'll hit the road. We'll warm it up nicely here. We've got three up arrows combating the cold but we can't stay here forever and there's not much between us and that plane crash well at least that that shows up here on the on the map um but what time is it by the way was it night i think the sun's going up so i think we have the whole day i think we left where were we we were down here at the community hall where there's a bunch of survivors from the plane crash right and a and a guy that we met there and we told them that we were going to go up and have a look um, at the plane crash to see if there's any more survivors. Yeah, this right here. Survivors of an airline crash in the mountains have found their way to the community hall. Holy smokes, that is loud. Okay, that's better. I can't hear myself think with the wind. Survivors of an airline crash in the mountains have found their way to the community hall in Thompson's Crossing. There might be others out there in need of help. Can you save them? We sure will try. We will try. We'll do our best. So we'll warm up here. We'll have our coffee. And, oh, it's done. Drink it. Ah, that is great. So now we have the warming up benefit. Sounds like... Sounds like the wind has let up, too. So I think we should go. Unless that's just because I turned the volume down. <laughs> all right, I think we should go now. We're... Bastard's all warmed up again. There's really no reason to stay here. You gotta get moving. And it seems like the wind has died down. And I think the torch is actually providing some heat right now. So we're not losing heat. Oh, look at that. Nice. What do we got? Crunchy stuff. And go energy drink. Painkillers. Flare. 
Uh, Alright, let's take a couple of flares. I think we're still pretty well underweight. How are we doing for weight? Eh, by a few pounds. Alright. Let's do it. Back on the road again. A long way. And hopefully we can find something along the way to duck into. Whoa, what the heck? What the? Yeah, what the? Fall back. This is an avalanche. Ooh. Is that an avalanche or an earthquake? <laughs> Holy moly, that was uh, the whole mountain rumbling. I don't know what that was, but it's pretty frightening. Whatever it was, it's gone now. This stump looks a little strange, doesn't it? Oh, wind's picking up again. I think I just put my torch out, unless it just went out naturally. Alright, toss it. Yeah, look at that. So it did actually provide a little bit of warmth, that torch. Because now we're on the negative, the negative end, but it's not too bad. Let's get that gun out. In case there's any wolvesies or bears or anything else out here that might want to take a bite out of Astrid. All right. We're at a bridge. You can see the fire in the woods there. That's the plane crash. All right, let's just have a look around here down by the river. See if there's anything of interest. Don't want to pass anything up. I mean, there's nothing that shows up on the map. It's very barren. Hold on. Oh, there's a little house and wolves. All right, we got a little cabin, and it looks like that cabin is... Uh, it's, in, it's in good shape. We can go inside, maybe. We don't have to warm up, though. It's pretty warm out right now. Oh, I see crows flying around over there. That's not a good sign. Well, it could be a good sign. Just means that there's some kind of a corpse or a carcass. What is that? Wow! Get inside! Wow! Bad doggies. Bad, bad doggies. That's a whole... Uh, what do they call them? Squad? Yeah, it's a whole pack of... <laughs> That's something new in this, uh, with this last update. Pork and beans is delish. Uh, looks like we lost our warming up benefit. But we found this place just in time. Um, a soda. What's this? Pleasant Valley History Part 2. Great Bear, a history. Pleasant Valley History Part 2. Founded in 1919, Thompson's Crossing remains the only significant community in Pleasant Valley. With a history tied to the farming and mining concerns of its residents, the isolated town followed its own path along the boom and bus cycle of, the, of Great Bear Island industry. With greater and greater instability due to seismic activity, the workings in the nearby mines proved too dangerous for later generations to exploit. And with the arrival of local activists determined to keep new industry from taking root in Pleasant Valley, Thompson's Crossing began its steady decline. So that seismic activity will explain that uh, the rumblings moments ago. And that's why they had to close down the mining operation. Which, by the way, um, I didn't get this on camera, but we had come from down here in the last episode. I think I quit right around here. So we faded out. There is a, there's a road here. There was a sign that said, uh, closed mining, mining operation that way. Um, I did not go down that road, so I didn't get it on camera, but we will we'll go there eventually. Might be some mine or something. We can investigate. We can use this. It's kind of dark in here, but oh, we got a bullet, a rifle cartridge, and painkillers. Got a bed here we can snooze in, and a book is great. Sprain risk. Yeah, that means we're a little heavy. Is there something under here? Oh, there sure is. A metal container. Best be prepared oh. for anything. Yeah, might as well grab it. Might as well take the food. You shouldn't pass up on the chow, right? All right. Um. I think we're going to have to head back out, which I hate to do with those wolves out there. I think they're still going to be there. But if we kill the leader, I think they all bolt, right? So I don't know how we can tell which one the leader is, but I'm going to shoot the first one that comes at us. and see what happens. All right, let's do it. By the way, the sun is actually dropping, so it's going to be nighttime soon. Hopefully we have enough daylight to get to the plane and back here again, unless there's a place to hole up for the night near the plane. That is a possibility. Um, well, one thing at a time. Let's deal with the wolves first, and we'll worry about nighttime. When that happens, out we go. All right, I just gotta shoot one of these fools, right? Where are they? Get over here! Where you zoom? What the? Ooh, I missed. Ow! Hey! You nipped me! 
All right, got one. I gotta get the leader. This guy the leader? Get wrecked, leader. Who is it? Wait. Oh, you gotta kill the whole pack. All right, there's one more out here. Where'd he go? One down. I think I shot two of them, right? I gotta shoot one more. Aha, here he comes. I miss? Got him that time. All right, well, we killed one. Um, should we take any food from this dude? I don't know. Probably not worth it. It's gonna take too much time. Temperatures are dropping. Let's not worry about it right now. All right, that's an interesting mechanic with the pack. How they just kind of race around you with the with the uh, music playing and, and nip at you. Now, did we take any damage there? No afflictions. I guess we're okay. It's a deer. Uh, oh, here's the carcass. The crows flying above it, I guess. I had a lot of drinks on them. Oh! Well, it's locked, but we might as well open it. I missed what that title there just said. What did it say? Point of disagreement. Oh, it's a road rage! <laughs> Ooh! Wait, really? Did the road rage end in murder? <laughs> okay, that's some serious rage right there. Although, I guess if during the apocalypse, when the whole world is falling apart, we're willing to, uh, willing to do what, whatever is necessary. Desperate times calls for desperate measures. I see a little candy bar on the dashboard. And some newspaper. Oh, I, yeah, I know. I don't really do the visors very often. But uh, How many rounds did I shoot there, by the way? How many do we have? Oh, there's a battery here. Ooh. We well, don't see too many batteries in these cars. It's kind of a new thing, I think. Let's check this one. Do they all have batteries? Yeah, this one's got a battery, too. I know they're super heavy, and we don't really want to carry one with us. This pry bar here we don't need. Uh, but we can use them for uh, for bullets. You, you just break them down into scrap, lead, and then you can make bullets. So it looks like, uh, yeah, nobody won. This, um, this road rage. Nobody wins in a road rage incident. Everybody here is dead. Alright. Yeah, let's go. Let us be off. This hood doesn't open. It's been, uh, it's been jammed shut from the accident. Alright, where is that plane? Let's get back on the road. Get moving. Temps are still pretty good right now. Don't have to worry about freezing to death. We're gonna watch out for them wolves and bears, though, of course. All right, there it is, the plane crash. It's our final destination. Eh, that was cold. <laughs> the final destination for many people, unfortunately. The thing is still burning, holy cow. All right, we gotta get in there, see if we can find any survivors. That's priority number one. We got a little shack over here, so it looks like we could fall back. And sleep here for the night if need be. Let's just make sure there's a place to warm up. Although I guess we could just hang out by the fires. So we need those matches. Uh, we could just sit right here by the burning plane. There's something down there too. Looks like. Oh, you know what? We can't even get in here. Okay. No, that's not going to be very useful. We'll worry about that later. We still have some daylight. Oh gosh, the crows flying around up there means corpses. I guess that's to be expected. Look at this wreck. All right, we gotta find survivors. And I think we have to look for medicine, right? Like a special medication, if I recall correctly. All right, we don't need to be under here. This is probably a bad idea. Can we get inside? Oh, yes, we can. All right, put the gun down. I don't wanna shoot anyone accidentally after they survive this plane crash. Hello? Anybody in there? Just call out or bang on something. Make noise if you can't call out. To grab this stuff while we're here, right? Might as well. Look at that. Airline food. Frozen meal. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm taking it. Use all the food we can get. Close that door behind us. Yeah. There we go. We don't want any wolves to follow us in. Oh, there we go. Anybody here? Doesn't look like anybody's in this portion of the plane. Although we got some luggage. And I feel like a scavenger going through here. But we need this stuff, too. Might as well check them all. I think we needed to find identification of the people on the plane too, right? 
to get closure for the folks back at the community center. So we're going to have to search all of these suitcases. And if we find something decent, we'll hang on to it. All right, watch your step. Whoa, Astrid, what did I just say? All right, I'm not moving. Yes, I see corpses. Oh, we do have to find medication. We have to find insulin. Right, I knew it. I had a feeling it was this game. <laughs> Got lots of sodas and food here. I'm just going to leave it all on the ground. What is that right there? Find the passenger IDs. Right, we've got to find passenger IDs. A hacksaw. Um, we're pretty heavy already. I don't think we need a hacksaw. Oh, wait a second. I hear something. Hello? Cry out. Make noise. I, I think I hear whimpering. Oh, gosh. All right, well, this guy is clearly a goner. Frozen to death. Hey, Lewis. All right. It's one eye identification. Nothing but wreckage. I totally hear somebody whimpering. This guy's a goner. Rest in peace, S. Gagney. All right, we gotta check all the bodies for IDs. Oh no. Look at this couple down here holding hands. This is so sad. They survived the plane crash only to freeze to death. F. LeBlanc. Rest in peace, F. LeBlanc. And you too, Kay Morrison. So sad. Yeah, I totally hear somebody whimpering. I think there's a survivor here. I'm not gonna look through the suitcases yet. I feel like that's uh, kind of a morbid thing to do and not just not right. <laughs> At least not before we find any survivors and get all these IDs. Oh, Gould. So, old Gould here was bandaging themselves antibiotics. I will go through the first aid kit because we might need it. Hello? Anybody in there? What's this? Ooh, flare gun. Do we have a flare gun? I don't know, but I'm going to grab it. Grab a few flares too. Yeah, oh, I hear somebody. Keep talking. Make some noise. Where are you? It sounds like it's coming from all around. It's, I don't know what direction. Not this person. R10. Oh no, I hear wolves! Oh gosh. Are there wolves here? Feasting? On the dead? Well, if there are, we're gonna have to scare them off. Hello? I have a body here. Pretty sure I heard whimpering. Did you guys hear that? Somebody here. Passenger manifest. A list of all the people. Passenger manifest. And V Singh. Right. So many suitcases. It's like the jackpot here. <laughs> I feel terrible thinking that way, but. Uh oh, there's another one. Oh! Oh, she's alive! This person's alive! Oh, hold on, we got you! Oh, God. Oh, God, you're alive! We got a live one! Let's get that seat off you. Oh, no. Help me. We're trying. Just I'm relax. Here. I'm here to help. Please. It hurts. Make it stop. You've been in a crash. You're in shock. But I can help you. Just let me start a fire. Too far gone. You've lost a lot of blood and you have frostbite. But it's okay. It's gonna be okay. I'm a doctor. I can help you. Please. I want this to be over. Huh. Interesting. I wonder. Damn it. Sleep Research Center, Dr. Greenwood speaking. Did you get it? I told you not to call here. I'm sorry, but, but I'm scared. I am working on it. It's getting worse. We have to do something. I'm going as fast as I can. You said you had something that could help her. 
Look, I can't just... Look, it is in a secure area of the lab. I can't just walk out with it. There are security protocols Astrid, and... it's getting worse. You have to do something. You understand that better than anyone. Yes, I do. Find a way and get up here as soon as you can. I, I will. As soon as I can figure out how to... I'll find a way to get it to you. Well, have you asked Will? No. It's, it's been years since we... I haven't asked him yet. We don't have time for this, Astrid. You need to do this, and soon. I will. I'll fix it. I promise I will get there. I'm afraid it's happening again. I'm afraid we'll lose her this time. That's not gonna happen. Hurry, Astrid. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I know you're in pain, and you just wanted to end, but I won't let you die out here. No, we won't. We just added an ID of G. Russell. When carrying survivors, keep them warm, hydrated, and away from... What was that? Away from something. <laughs> uh, hold on, Gwen. Can we pick her up? We can't pick her up. Find the insulin and all the IDs first. Are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh. And now the wolves are coming. Search suitcase belonging to Dimitri. Oh, this one has a name. Oh, there's the insulin right there. Found it. Oh, that's convenient. Ooh. Sure I can carry much more. Nice new cargo pads, too. Uh, all right, Gwen, stay right there. We gotta go find all the IDs. Well, how do I know? Oh, I've got eight out of ten. All right, um, she'll be fine, I think, for a few minutes. <laughs> yeah, let's um, let's go find those bodies, and then we can get out of here. I, I probably shouldn't be. Well, this stuff will come in handy. Checking all these suitcases. We'll come back for the suitcases too. I think we really need to get her indoors and somewhere warm, and then we can. Um, can take care of her. Astrid is a doctor. Can we check this body? Yeah. We need two more buddies. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, my guess is they're going to be somewhere around the wreckage. I don't think we can go up any higher over there. That looks like a dead end. Alright, well, let me look around here. See if we can find the last two passengers that didn't make it. I think Gwen is the only survivor. Oh gosh, I can hear the poor girl whimpering all the way down here. Hold on, Gwen! Oh, here's one. Did we check this one yet? No. T Chan, I'm so sorry, T Chan. Rest in peace. Oh, there's somebody right here by the right by the big part of the plane. Aww. The last one, D. Belanger. All right, I think that's everybody. I think that's everybody. Let's um, let's grab a vegetarian meal, just in case Gwen's a vegetarian, because we're gonna bring her back to the community hall. Really? <laughs> we have to carry her back to the community hall. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so far away. Uh, a wool shirt. I wonder if that's better than the sweaters we're wearing. Maybe. All right, you know what? I'm, I'm we're gonna quit here. I'm gonna go through some of these suitcases, and we're gonna help Gwen. Um, I think what we're gonna do is just carry her back to that cabin. The cabin was right over here. It's not too far. There's no way we can make it to the community center tonight. It's too dark. Well, it's not too dark yet, but it's gonna get dark. Oh man! Now the wolves are coming out. Well, let's check those pants real quick. Master's jeans. Oh, these pants are better. Yeah, put those on and drop trow, Astrid. Is that her snoring? Yeah, I think she's fine right now. She's unconscious. Let's go see if we can pick her up. Get her out of here. All right, put the gun down. I don't want to shoot this poor girl by mistake. Gwen, 50. Oh, she's 56%. Oh, we can Easy. diagnose Just gonna her. Just see if I can help. Uh, yeah, she's losing blood. Let's bandage that up. Hang on, Gwen. You'll feel better after you sleep. There we go. All right. I know, Gwen, it hurts. Hold on. Before we go, let's just make sure we've got everything we need here. Ten out of ten passenger IDs. We got the insulin. 
And we just gotta get Gwen back to the community hall, which is super far away. It's gonna be a long trek. So let's get started. This is gonna hurt a little. I'm sorry, Gwen. We're gonna get you to a nice, safe, warm location. Eh, uh, somewhere. Um, oh, look at that. Gwen has a status now there in the bottom left, and she looks like she's cold. Cold and getting very thirsty. Now, this is all enclosed over there, but it seems like there's an possible way out over here. I don't know. We're going to find out. This is safe from the wind right here. We might have to just get a fire going. Uh-oh. Oh no, all the wolves are closing in on us. We're making good time. Making great time, Gwen. Just keep those positive thoughts going. I know. We'll get you home sooner or later, but first things first. Is that was oh, that a cave? Ooh! I think I see something. Yes it is! Burn Ridge Cave! Oh wow. Alright, this is great. How convenient. First aid kit and everything. <laughs> All right, we're going to put you down. I love how you can place her down like a sleeping bag. Uh-oh, can we not put her in here? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Got a, got a perfect spot for you, Gwen. I've got, got you now. Down you go. Don't Just worry. drop her on the ground unceremoniously. All right, let's get a light on the subject. And I think we're going to have to get a fire going before she gets hold. hypothermic. I know. Hold on. Can we get a fire down right here. And we don't have any time to waste, so we're going to use accelerant. Get that I thing cranking it. up. There you go. Oh, Throw some yeah. wood on there. That's a good one. That's a good one. And none oh. too soon. Let's put one firewood on there for right now, because I don't know how long I'm going to stay here. There you go, Gwen. Warm up by that fire, okay? This stuff will come in handy. Some more wood here and a first aid kit. Some antibiotics, painkillers, and another soda. Um, we got tons of sodas. In fact, I'm gonna drink one right now. She's still shivering like mad here, but she's warming up fast. And this pack is getting kind of heavy. Pack is kind of heavy. We're gonna have to go through it and uh, see what we don't need. And also, I want to go back and check out all the suitcases. <laughs> I might do that right now while Ash, uh, while uh, Gwen here warms up. So let's check the time on this thing. All right, we got an hour and a half. I am going to take a little walk here, see what we got in all these suitcases because it's so tempting. And then we'll, uh, we'll either spend the night here in this cave, assuming there's enough wood. I might have to chop down some trees. Um, and then we'll head back to uh, the community hall in the next episode. That's a good book. Good book for starting fires. All right, yeah, let's call it quits right here, folks. And we'll pick up in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. It's good to be back. Very excited. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. I'm going to go ahead and loot all of these suitcases. I mean, I feel like uh, I feel like a grave robber doing that. But you know what? There might be some really decent gear here that's going to help us survive. So I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.